Hey folks, it's Jim. Uh, I wanted to do a quick video on uh, the uh, GeoSpring water heater that I installed about seven weeks ago. Uh, I finished my analysis of the equipment and I thought I would share it with you. Um, the first thing uh, that I wanted to go over was the cost. Uh, the original cost of this unit was $1,100. It happened to be on sale at Lowe's for $799. Uh, with a 10% veterans discount, it was $719. With the main state $300 rebate, and that's a picture of the GeoSpring, the one that I have, by the way, on there. With the main state rebate of $300, um, that dropped the whole uh, water heater down, 50 gallon hybrid water heater, heat pump. Uh, down to $419. Add back $80 for the 10-year parts and labor warranty from GE. Total cost of $500. Now that's right at the same amount of cost just about for a fairly good quality standard 50 gallon hot water heater. So for me it was a no-brainer to do this and with the 10-year warranty. Um, but that's first. Second, uh, it's doubly insulated so it loses about one degree an hour or less uh, when it's just an idle right which is awesome double insulation similar to that of a uh, marathon tank uh, stainless steel glass lined so uh, really good quality as far as I could tell it is very heavy though so be aware of that if you're going to install it yourself it weighs about 170 pounds I think so uh, you know a standard water heater doesn't weigh all that much when it's empty but this thing empty weighs about 170 pounds so be aware of that if you're going to install it yourself which I did um, installs is the same as a standard tank uh, the only extra thing that you have to do is be able to hook up the standard electric tank I should preface that is hook up the compressor uh, condensation drain valve uh, but if you can install a water heater you can definitely do that right so anyway Okay, now the next thing is that let me start this whole video by saying I only use about 20 gallons of hot water a day or 15 even some days, right? I'm a single guy and that's it, you know, so I use on average about 15 gallons of hot water a day. Uh, so that's all that I use. So your usage difference is your usage is going to be different. But actually, if you're on grid, the more people in the house, the more savings you're going to get. So that's something else I'd like to add before we go. But we're going to do on-grid versus off-grid versus hybrid solar uh, in a minute. Okay. Um, I, because of my experience with this, it saved me 100 kilowatts in the first full month that I've been able to use it. Uh, I just got my electric bill and I run a hybrid system on-grid, off-grid. So my first full month on, it dropped my kilowatt usage 100 kilowatts awesome do the math on that how quick the payback is my friend Jared who has a wife and a daughter his is saving him 170 to 200 kilowatts monthly now do the math if you've got a small family okay now we keep ours in heat pump mode so you got to kind of time things out um, you know you don't want to overuse it or you're gonna have to put it in hybrid mode so you can use those elements to refresh it quicker but if you stagger your showers and you know you're on a good routine the heat pump just keeps right up and he, is now, he hasn't had to take his out except for when uh, the in-laws come or something like that and they've got five people in the house then he puts it in hybrid mode but even with three people uh, Jared's been able to run strictly in heat pump mode okay so that's just to preface everything what I found was is that the compressor runs at about 500 watts I believe I haven't metered it out yet um, I'm actually gonna put its own meter on this uh, but I believe that's what I read and it seems apparent that it's either doing that or something uh, so it runs for about an hour to an hour and a half twice a day that means I'm using about 750 watts per cycle total of 1.5 kilowatts a day now my old system ran about 4 kilowatts is what the old one used okay um, when I would turn it on I turned it on and off uh, since I'm a single person I could do that on demand I would use my elements and then I would shut it down um, and then I would turn it back on because uh, I'm gone a lot so for me it worked more efficiently that way um, but this is this is amazing me that it saved me a hundred kilowatts anyway and I'm a single person okay and with your two or three people it's gonna save you around 200 kilowatts a month that's absolutely blowing my mind 
I didn't think these things were really that good, but they are, apparently. Okay, now, so that's 1,500 watts uh, total consumption. My 21 cubic foot refrigerator, to give you an idea, uses one kilowatt of energy a day. That means my hot water heater now is almost as efficient as my refrigerator. That is blowing my mind, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? And it's a 50-gallon tank. Now, it's not heating 50 gallons a day, obviously, but it shows you how well insulated this tank is, that it's that efficient. It's, a, it's amazing. I'm absolutely, I'm very happy, very pleased anyway. And my payback will be about three years for this item at our electricity costs here in Maine at the 100 kilowatts a month, 1.2 megawatts a year. I want you to think about that. In Jared's case, 2.4 megawatts a year. Do the math on the payback time, people. Anyway, so that's if you're on grid, da-da-da, right? But now, me being a solar, let's get into that. Here's what fascinated me. In every solar system, we have to have a delta, a dump load, correct? Okay. That being said, what better place to put your delta than into your hybrid hot water heater? Since it's drawing only 500 watts, your amps have dropped down. Now, don't I'm not absolutely positive about that, but I'm pretty sure it seems to be working out that way. So, um, you know, it's a lower amp draw. So now electric hot water is actually doable via solar systems, okay? And that blew my mind that this is real. Technology has arrived at the point where everything in our homes is becoming so efficient that uh, we can actually do this. Um, and, you know, think about it. If you're running a small generator now, just think of the load that got dropped off to make hot water. Isn't that awesome? Now, while other people have solar hot water systems and big 500 gallon tanks and all that, if you did that, that's great. I myself am building a smaller footprint home for my new house. So I don't want to do that. And I've been getting away with it. I've been working with Heliatos. Uh, their solar hot water system and I'm playing with that. I'll show you some of the experiments and tests that I've done uh, at another time. I just don't have a lot of time right now, folks, and obviously you know I've been expressing that on my channel. It's why I've been on and off lately. Today is actually a free day for me, so I'm so blessed. So that's why I'm doing all these videos now because you may not see me again for another month. But anyway, um, so our delta, we've always had a delta anyway if you're a solar producer. Uh, energy only changes form. It never goes, disappears, okay? Energy just changes form, all right? So we always have to have a delta in any solar system. You got to have a delta. Either you backfeed the grid or you got to put the energy somewhere or it's just a waste. You're just baking your panels, right? So uh, with that in mind, what a great place to put your delta. Think about it, okay? And on sunny days, obviously, and that's, uh, that's why I run a hybrid system, on-grid, off-grid capability. Uh, in emergencies, I can go off-grid or I just stay on-grid and I backfeed the grid. And uh, that's what I do. This week, this month, I was carbon negative. Uh, last month, my system produced 300 kilowatts. I only used, according to my power company, 142 kilowatts from them. So I banked my excess. But anyway, uh, those are just things to know. Um, so the point is, we were using deltas anyway, 2,000 watt uh, elements to go into our heaters, our water heaters, and we were deltaing that way, dumping our excess solar energy. Well, now think about it. Our deltas can actually do the job of running the compressor. Isn't that magnificent? <clears throat> now, if you have a week without sun, obviously you're going to run your generator anyway, so no problem, right? But, um, you know, think about the possibilities here and now this is a no-brainer for me and my new project this is definitely going in my new place and since I was going to use a Princess Anne stove anyway with a water baffle for the winters in Maine um, now I can use that uh, water to heat a hot tub off my Princess Anne stove which I was going to have to put in anyway for my Delta off of my wood stove cook stove okay for the winters so, you know, everything's got to have a delta when you talk about energy, a dump load for safety, okay? You've got to have it. So anyway, now I can use that for a hot tub since this water heater is so efficient, right? It's like, wow, this is awesome. So it opens so many new doors. With the cost of solar 
uh, plummeting and the increase in efficiencies of not only products but solar uh, equipment itself you know panels and inverters and everything else and charge controllers uh, solar is just we are in an incredibly awesome the best time to be alternative energy the doors that have opened to us are just magnificent and I hope that uh, I'm coming across well and you all can hear and understand it and I'm being clear about it um, if if you haven't installed one of these water heaters and I would strongly recommend it just from my experience even if you're not solar but if you are solar wow think about it your delta every day will cover a cycle in this heater without a doubt you know what I mean um, just awesome now I only use 20 gallons a day remember as a single person 15 to 20 gallons a day your results will be different if you're off-grid and you have a couple of people in your home so don't think you're gonna be able to do it but let's face it you run your generator when the sun's not out anyway so um, not a big deal uh, and I'm not one I don't want to be on propane for anything in my new home uh, I believe that's still being a slave to the machine so I don't personally agree with propane I know some of you due to necessity have to but I think of it this way if I'm relying on anybody or anything to come to my house to keep me going in an SHTF scenario I've already lost so that's why I'm doing things the way I'm doing and if it is SHTF I don't care if I go a few days without hot water I'll wait till my Delta day comes because if you're truly off-grid in a homesteader you're already doing that anyway you know what I'm talking about but when you do have Delta what a beautiful place to put it so anyway I just wanted to share this um, uh, I hope all this is making sense to you but anyway it's only using 1.5 kilowatts a day I've saved 100 kilowatts in one month my friend Jared saving 200 kilowatts a month um, just magnificent I can't say enough about it um, these new hybrids uh, it's just wonderful these new heat pump water heaters anyway uh, I hope I covered everything I don't know if I did um, but experience strength and hope Jim out